Our guest today is VCU Professor of Psychology, Dr. Everett Worthington, Jr. He's here to talk about how people can deal with stress this holiday season. Dr. Worthington, welcome to VCU Insight. Yeah, thank you, Justin. So why is this time of year so stressful for many? Well, I think there are a lot of reasons. There's a lot of things to do that are on top of the normal responsibilities that we have that uh, you know, seem to occupy every hour of the day in the rest of the year. But also people do things that are kind of traditional and they go home and sometimes a lot of family tensions arise and tensions between in partners between well which family do we visit at which time and and so just a lot of decisions uh, happen and if people disagree about those decisions then then that can introduce more stress and what are some uncommon common unhealthy ways that people deal with stress well, one, one way that people deal with stress that's not helpful, of course, is to get involved in a power struggle. So a power struggle is a disagreement about who has the say in an issue. It's not really a disagreement about the issue, that's kind of the occasion that the power struggle happens, but it's, it's like who has the say. And, and so when that r relationship uh, dynamic uh, develops, then you can have problems between parents and children, between the, the uh, uh, partners or between in-laws and, and family members. So power struggles are really kind of disastrous. And how do you suggest people deal with those power struggles? You know, and on one level, if I had an answer to that, I probably <laughs> would have a Nobel Prize. <laughs> But, of course, one way that people do deal with it is uh, to, to try to engage a third party. Uh, uh, usually this is not the best uh, solution if this is your mother. <laughs> you know, she is likely to, to sway a balance and create even more tension. But the way that, uh, that we teach couples who come to counseling in conflict, uh, the way that we teach them to resolve power struggles is to try to get beyond the issue and to try to find interests that both people have in common. Often people stake out a position and they, they, get, it, they get really glued to the position. Uh, but there really are common interests that solutions could Make, meet both people's interests. Um, how do you suggest that people deal with stress overall this holiday season? I, I think, uh, of course, taking a deep breath, uh, you know, uh, is is always important, and, and that's a kind of a metaphor. You know, there's there has to be some kind of haven, some kind of safe haven that they can feel secure and feel. Uh, safe in. So maybe this means if you have conflict with the in-laws you retreat to just partners being together or just your family being together. But maybe for some people that's getting alone and, and having some private time. And finally, if you had a message for families this holiday season above all else, dealing with stress, dealing with forgiveness, dealing with all these issues that we've talked about, what would your message be? Well, I think that um, the um, kind of the essence of good relationships is to have a strong emotional bond. And so having you know, a, a good response to these stressful situations is about you know, holding on to the strong emotional bond and forgiving people when the bond is damaged so that that doesn't continue to be a, a, a rift in their relationship. Well, very good. Now we've been joined by VCU Professor of Psychology, Dr. Everett Worthington, Jr., talking about stress and the season. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Yeah. Worthington. Thank you.